it's so important that we get relationship right. In an army, you can't be hating the person next to you on the front line. You have to have their back while they have your back. Believe the best of people, but when the worst outcome comes, prepare for forgiveness. Maybe they won't confess. Maybe you'll never get a sorry. Just accept the sorry that you, you might never get. We need balance in spirit and character. That is, that is what we need to hold in tension. Actually, Jesus criticized quite a lot. <laughs> we look at him and we're like, that's conviction in love. You have to come in spirit and truth. You can't walk in true love, the fullness of true love, if you're not walking in God, if you're not walking in the spirit, if you're not spending the time with the Lord and being filled with the spirit. Many of you won't even be able to articulate some of the stuff James has said, but by the lifestyle that you carry, your lifestyle will preach that message. And sometimes to mature in things of God, we have to push through boredom. We need to call each other and ourselves higher and say to people around you, I need you to hold me accountable. I just want to encourage all of you. There's going to be times where people ask you questions. Be encouraged because, you know, they don't always see the treasure that you see. They might not yet have the hunger that you have. You're in the spirit in prayer. You're going to come out at the other side and you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tested to come out in the flesh. And it's all about, you know, intense prayer, growing in intense prayer and intense love. I don't want to be the cause of someone hating Jesus. I can never be perfect, but what I do want to be is a person of character and integrity. I believe there's a great move of God coming. And I believe that it's not going to be a one-man led thing. I believe that it is going to be the people of God rising. But I believe that the Lord is almost delaying it, holding it back because I, I believe that there is a maturity that needs to come. We need to learn how to do these long hours in prayer. God is requiring a deeper purity from us. I'm believing for society to be changed, where governments are changed, where things are changed within the schools, where we see, where we see real change and transformation within communities. Give us a special grace, Lord. I know that if, Lord, you want a movement that, that asks for another level of consecration, Lord. I know you have a grace to release. So Lord, would you release that grace right now in the name of Jesus?